everyone, uh, today I'm going to uh, try out um, these Madai Jig here, which I picked up last winter uh, for bottom fishing. Um, these are essentially a, uh, a jig head with a, um, you know, a two assist hook with some silicone skirt and uh, same silicone uh, um, trailer. Same thing for both of them. As an angler, I think these look really nice. Um, the paint job looks cool. The skirt colors should work. Um, but I'm just not sure what the fish think about them. Um, I think they are of the Lucanus type uh, from Shimano. The jig that kind of resemble a, uh, a squid. Um, so as I have never fished this before, um, my intention is to uh, basically do a vertical jigging as I'm drifting, meaning I'm bouncing bottom. So, you know, taking this and just bounce up and down um, as I glide the, um, the floor. Um, I think this also can be cast from the shore. Um, this one has two eyelets, one on the top for um, jigging and the eyelet on the front for uh, casting from the shore. Um, you know, they should be able to uh, cast pretty well depending on the weight of each jig. This one's 45 gram and this one is 40 gram. In that case, I'll probably be fishing about 40 feet of water. So let's go out there and see if we can catch anything. My goal today is probably to use this one here and basically try to catch four fish. Able to uh, get that shouldn't be an issue, but who knows? All right, the weatherman didn't tell me that the water was this choppy. It's crazy out here. I'm actually pretty scared. I was thinking I was gonna flip. The uh, weather was supposed to be five to six mile wind, but as you can hear, it's howling in the background, and it's pretty windy here today. Been out here for a while now, um, probing a couple locations where I thought there would uh, hope fish. Um, so far, all of them had uh, come up empty. So here I am to a uh, place I've been before. Hopefully, there's some life beneath. As I am uh, dropping down the uh, jig to the sea floor, um, you know it feels like a uh, a bug tail. It's got the you kind of feel the motion of the the trailer and the jig bouncing up and down and it it feels okay so i'm hoping i can entice the fish to uh hit it and we have a fish on and it's definitely 100 percent a porgy when i saw this jig uh, last winter i thought that would be a great jig for uh black sea bass i'm gonna get a couple and just to see if i could uh you know catch them so my goal today is to target black sea bass As I had mentioned before, I'm fishing between about 30 to 40 feet of water and it's incoming tide and it's really strong so paddling against it is not fun. I'm getting a little inches here, tap tap, um, so it looks like a small fish. It's on, um, but it doesn't feel big, it's just swimming upward, I think. Alright, it's tugging a little bit. It's like Murphy's Law, every time, you know, something happens, your battery die or something just go wrong. But after a few minutes, I uh, bought up the fish, uh, changed the battery, and here is the uh, what I got. It's a decent sized uh, black sea bass, my targeted species.
after a few fish, the uh, skirt become uh, start to become undone, and a few of them has been torn apart. The trailer has been ripped in half, so the durability it's lacking. Um, I think if you are gonna use this type of jig, I would highly recommend you get a replacement skirt, which I think they sell, and uh, just put it on once the uh, the old one gets all damaged up. I think this jig certainly has a place in the uh, tackle box, but uh, I don't think it would uh, replace the um, bucktail or the uh, you know diamond jig and such. It would just uh, complement to it. Um, you know, it's something to do in case you want to try this out, and I think it's worthwhile to invest at least one of them to give it a go. I think that's a uh, lobster bow over there. stop here I just want to say thank you for joining me on my uh, quick look on this particular jig uh, if you have any comment please leave below tell me if there's some way that you fish other than the, the way that I do how do you do it differently uh, any suggestion I would really appreciate it just leave it in the comment section so next time when I go out there I'll able to um, you know apply some of the uh, technique that you have or you mentioned thank you Thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to leave a comment, a like, a dislike, and please subscribe. Thank you.